Well, the CEO of Baltimore City Public Schools met with a group of former students. They're upset about plans to close a local high school. The meeting comes after students commandeered a school board meeting. 11 News reporter Vanessa Herring joins us live from Baltimore City Public School headquarters where that meeting was held this evening. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, and this group says this is all about changing the way decisions about education are made, and they say they are encouraged after meeting with district leaders for about 30 minutes tonight, and they've already scheduled a follow-up meeting. Hands up! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Heritage High School graduates staged a die-in moments after the Baltimore City School Board unanimously voted to close the school. They demanded a meeting. And they got it. We're saying that it's no more business as usual. The school board cites low performance and declining enrollment among reasons why they voted to close the school. The group says the community should have a say before any decision is made. Well, we're talking about right now changing a system that for so long has not valued the input of communities, especially communities of color in particular, and a system that ultimately has made more decisions to harm the community than they have to adequately help the community. The meeting was held behind closed doors. City School District CEO Dr. Gregory Thornton and two other district leaders met with the group. They say they're encouraged by their first conversation. Dr. Thornton and his staff are workable, um, and we feel like we can get somewhere with them. They're committed to work with us, and they seem willing to, you know, be cooperative. The group is planning to meet with district leaders again to continue the conversation about Heritage High School. And that follow up meeting is already set for December 29th. And the group says they are hoping to include members of the, of the community during that next meeting. They also say they're working to figure out if there's a way for current students to get Heritage High School diplomas if the school does eventually close. After tonight's meeting, district officials did not comment. Reporting live, Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News.